Hey guys, and welcome to a new video series I'll be doing for EVE Online. Uh, these videos are mostly either going to be tutorials or guides for newer players, but some older ones might find themselves accidentally educated if things are a bit different since the last time you've played. This first video that I'm going to do is going to be about scamming. Now EVE Online isn't like a typical MMO where if you get scammed, the GMs and customer service will usually be more than happy to help you. In EVE, if you get scammed legitimately, and I'll talk about what I mean by legitimately scammed a bit later, the GMs actually won't lift a finger because trust and betrayal are part of the emergent experience and leaves the darker piratey elements of the game more open for creative content. It might sound harsh, but it's a stance that forces you to be careful about what you do in the game and who you trust, so hopefully this video helps a little bit with that. So I'm going to go into some of the more common scams and explain how they might actually get you. This isn't a guide on how to scam, so I might not go into perfect detail and I'll probably leave some things out. But you'll get the overall idea of how and why it works, and how it gets both new and older players. So the first scam, and by far the most common one, is the ISK doubling scheme. At the basic level, what happens is a scammer promises to double your money if you send him money first. It sounds pretty Nigerian princey, right? Nobody would fall for that, but it's actually very well presented and dressed up in a certain light to make it sound a little more legitimate. A lot of these scammers will tell you to look at their profile for some obscure rules, and they'll have hidden conditions and small hard to read text or something along those lines where they can claim the rest of the players don't follow them so they don't get their risk back, but if you just follow the rules you will. The second most common scam is probably actually the hardest one to spot, especially for a newer player. It's called the margin trading scam. This one needs a bit of explaining or else you might fall for it without even realizing it. In EVE there's a skill that allows traders to buy and sell a lot of stuff to place a buy order without actually having the necessary capital to make that transaction happen. That's essentially the scam right there. Making a promise to buy something without being able to actually fulfill it. While this skill has a lot of legitimate use for real traders, it's used for this scam to great effect and often catches even veteran players off guard. What happens is our scammer, and we'll just call him Filthy McSmellybum, finds an item in EVE that has a relatively low supply and demand and is pretty rare. So Filthy McSmellybum finds this item that he likes for the scam and decides to buy the entire market out. He buys them all, then starts placing a few sell orders for 10 million apiece. Essentially, he's driven the market price up a ton, but there's no demand so they won't even sell. But we're not done yet. What he does next is he places a bunch of buy orders for the same item at a really high price, close to the sell value, let's say 9,500,000. He offers to buy a hundred of these things, equaling almost a billion isk. But he makes sure that he doesn't actually have a billion isk in the wallet to pay for these if someone wants to sell them. Now here comes the scam. He takes a lot of the stuff that he bought earlier, at a low price and makes a contract selling them for the price way below his fake inflated price, say 5 or 6 million for 200, making the price about a billion. What happens is he links the contract in chat and maybe gets an alt character to endorse how he messed up and is selling these things for way too cheap, but remember he inflated this price himself. So what a potential mark will see is that he's selling 200 DNA for a billion -esque. But as soon as he goes to the market value, he sees that he could actually sell it for about 2 billion if he fulfills the buy order. What an easy profit, right? So he buys the DNA, gets excited, goes to sell it, and the game tells him, you can't sell this because the trader doesn't have the money in escrow. Congratulations, you've just been margin trade scammed. The way to avoid this is just be really careful about what you buy things in contract. Nobody is selling things so you can just resell them for a massive profit without even leaving the station. If it's some obscure item you don't even know about, and it's massively inflated at a price for no reason, you're gonna get scammed. The third common scam you'll find is actually pretty broad, so I'll put them all under this big header. It's just the contract misrepresentation scam. I'm gonna bundle all different kinds in here because they're all kind of the same. They just rely on you not fully reading what's in a contract, and then agreeing to it when you shouldn't have. For example, a contract might be called Navy Ship with Fittings. But then you look at the contract more closely, it actually has all the fittings, including the ship, but the ship isn't actually a navy version, which drives the price down well below what they're asking. Another common one is selling plexus for cheap, but it'll either be the wrong amount, or they'll put the old switcheroo and have it set to you paying a plex, and them giving you the cheap amount of this. The last scam I'm going to cover in this video is the hauling scam. 
In EVE Online, if you have a bunch of stuff in one station and say you just want it moved to another, you can actually create a contract to have someone haul it for you. This item is then put into a box for the person to haul, and you can even set a collateral price for the hauler that he has to pay if he fails to deliver for any reason. Sounds pretty safe, right? What scammers do is a few different things. The system you have to pick up the haul from or deliver it to might be in, say, null security space, which can be nearly impossible for the average player to actually haul to. So if you die a few times on the way, or maybe you even get all the way there, you'll find that the station won't even let you dock up and give you permission to land. In the end, you pay the collateral. Another version is one that appears to be a no-brainer. Some stuff needs to be hauled maybe just a couple jumps for a really lucrative amount, but it has a really high collateral. No problem, you might think. You can front the $2 billion for this contract, because it'll make you $750 million, and it'll take maybe 20 minutes to work. Too good to be true, right? So you accept the contract, undock with your loot, and what happens? The scammers are waiting outside, and instantly destroy your ship. Sure, the police will kill them for it, but they made $2 billion isk in collateral off you. They really don't care. Oh, and you were probably just hauling a bunch of space rocks anyways. So I hope you guys found some information you find useful. If I left anything out, let me know in the comments. If the video is well received, I guess I'll just keep making more. Thanks, and fly safe.